Hi guys, uh, as you can see we have Darren Rand up here with me. Uh, just to say, just to clarify that this is embargoed until 11pm tomorrow night. So 11pm tomorrow night embargo on this. And just seeing here who's on screen, uh, we'll start off with Neil O'Raden. Sorry, I'll pass the owner phone on. Thanks. Yeah, I'm here. Apologies. Um, thank you. Uh, hey, Darren, uh, can you just get your thoughts on what it was like tonight? Uh, yeah, it was a tough, tough night playing uh, playing against uh, you know top team with some with some top players. Um, you know they, they pressed very well. Obviously, kept the ball very well, <coughs> and um, yeah, we just probably struggled at times with bits of bits of quality uh, to to try and create anything. Is it is it unfair to judge where Ireland are right now compared to a team like England who could well win the Euros next year after what was quite promising last month, even though the results weren't right? Uh, what, to compare where both countries are now? Uh, no, compare where Ireland are, like maybe against a, a different side, it might have been a different result. Uh, yeah, against maybe a lesser country, uh, the result would have been different. Um, you know, look at, you know, the, the performances and stuff from from last month um you know they're good performances we just weren't able to put the ball in the back of the net uh again england are one of the best sides in the world so uh, it was always going to be tough and every single one of us would have needed to be playing at you know 110 120 percent uh tonight i mean we would have needed a, a bit of luck to go our way to uh to get the win so um yeah tough to to judge uh, on, on on tonight against against them, you know, with the caliber of uh, players they have to to choose from. Um, I know it's not your department, but Matt Doherty mentioned that he felt that maybe it was in the back of players' minds the lack of goals being scored. Do you see that as well? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, we've, it's not like we're not creating the creating the chances. You know, I think in well, apart from tonight, I think we had a couple, uh, we had a what one one long range effort but you know um the last couple of camps we we have created the chances uh which is always a good sign you just need to put them away uh then when you put the chance away it takes the pressure off because you know you're not defending at nil nil for you know 60 70 80 minutes um but i look at it as a as a good thing that the chances are still being um created I know there's two big games to come. Like there's still a lot of ranking points at stake because you, you don't want to be a third seed going into the World Cup qualifiers. No, exactly. You know, two uh, huge games coming up that um, you know we're going into that we are looking at. Um, you know, must-win games uh, to get the best possible finish that we can in the in the group. Um, you know, so it doesn't affect the the seed as, as as you just said. Yeah, but like. These are two teams Ireland have played recently, not beaten but not lost. To. Mm -hmm. Is there some confidence there that maybe this can turn around quickly against a team like Wales? Um, yeah, I think you know we only, we only played them recently. Uh, played Wales, pretty pretty even game. Um, so again, it's not one that we're going into. Um, you know, I, I I say it's not one we're going into fearing. Uh, you know, it's one that we're going into. Um, you know, knowing that we can get the get the result, we play well, and uh, the same against uh, Bulgaria. Uh, again, we had the chances against them um, over in over in Bulgaria. So uh, again, it's a it's a it's a winnable game. Thanks a lot, Darren. No problem. Thanks very much, John. Uh, Michael Scully, can we come to you next, please? Sure thing. Hi, Darren. How are you? Well, thanks. Um, just w when you, a team is on a bit of a run like this, um, is it important for senior players to kind of, I don't know, help out the younger lads a bit? You know, it's it's a team in transition. Style is, is, is it's a different style you guys are playing. Important to senior guys keep the heads up and, and, and talk to the player, the younger guys. Yeah, yeah you have to. Uh, as you said, there's probably lots of new faces or younger faces, sorry, coming into the into the squad. Uh, you know, going through this changeover period, so it, it probably is down to us to uh, try and keep the morale high after nights, probably like tonight, going into um, a game like Sunday. 
because uh, at one stage we were the we were the younger ones coming into a uh, into the Irish setup with uh, you know other senior players that kind of uh, held our hands along the way, um, and that's what you know we're going to need to do with the with the younger boys and you know keep. Uh, kind of banging into their head kind of you know how much it uh, it means you know to pull on that jersey and to be involved in some of the special nights that uh, you know some of us have been lucky enough to to be involved in um, for the younger boys to uh, experience that I mean like the younger lads they, they seem like a confident enough bunch anyway is that the way you've, you you see them yeah they're a uh, confident bunch um, again they've, they've obviously played under the manager so they know obviously how he how he wants to play. Uh, the good thing is, you know, they all want the ball. None of them are shy, um, which is a good thing uh, for you know if you're trying to change the way that we uh, want to play. Um, but again, if it's a it's a tricky situation, you know, you, you come in, new manager manager comes in, and you win all the games. It's you know brilliant and. Um, you know, you come in and uh, you know the performances have been there. We just haven't got the the results, and um, you know, all of a sudden it can seem like, oh no, it's the end of the world. But you know, it's a <coughs> it's a new group. Um, you know, trying to get to know each other and trying to play a new brand of football. So uh, we just have to keep keep our head down, keep keep working hard, and keep believing in in in, in what we're doing. Last one for me. Um, I mean, do do you see it as a bit of a fine line? Like, had the penalties gone a different way? In Slovakia, it could be a totally different scenario you're looking at right now. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's brilliant to be able to look back and um, you know, look at you know what ifs and you know if that chance went in or you know if you know I saved this penalty or whatever else. Um, but unfortunately, it it, it didn't happen. You know, there's no we weren't going to get probably uh, as easy a chance to qualify. Um, as as a Slovakia game, but it's it's been and gone. Uh, you know we played well. We 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 created the 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 chances. We just didn't put the game to bed. Um, and it hopefully it's one that still hurts people. And it's a, it's an experience for people to to learn from going forward. Thanks, Dan. No, uh, we're just under a little bit of time constraint. So Mark McCadden and then Damien Spellman just to finish it off. Thank you, Mark. First, Aaron, how are you? Um, just, I mean, obviously, we've played Wales a few times now recently. Um, they, they, I suppose, they've had the slight edge now. Do we, do we owe them one? Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to go there and and and, and uh, you know get the win. Um, but I don't really want to focus on you know kind of a a, a revenge revenge match. You know, as we need the the win and the points for. For the group, for uh, for ourselves, you know. So um, I think at this stage you now, everything else kind of like that's out the window. We just need to focus on the game and and, and focus on getting the getting the win, um, you know. So so uh, it doesn't affect the the seeding too much. And just I mean the last two games of the year and uh, with the World Cup qualifiers coming up, I mean important just to I suppose finish on a high and and I suppose just get some momentum ahead of next year. Yeah, finish on a high. Like I said, uh, build up some momentum and get a, you know, get, uh, you know, after, after a couple of uh, good performances and good results, you get that feel good factor back, and you know, it's amazing how things can change when people get, you know, a little bit of confidence after, you know, a couple of wins. Super. Cheers. No problem. And finally, Damien Spellman, please. Hi, Darren. Um, Darren, just talking about the Worlds game. Can you draw on the experience of that qualifier win there? couple of years back you know one of the best performances in the last few years yeah 100% it's still uh, still spoke about um, and we still you know in different clips before during games you, we still get to see that uh, see that goal back um, and there's a few of us in the squad that obviously were involved that night so you know we remember it uh, quite well and them nights don't come, uh, come around too often um so it's definitely something to to look back on, and uh, you know we go there and keep the game as 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 tight as as possible, um, and then 
and you know, hopefully get the win. Thank you. Cheers all, thanks very much. Just to clarify that the embargo on this is 11 o'clock tomorrow night, so 11 o'clock tomorrow night for this, and thanks for all your patience in staying with us this evening. Thank you very much. Good night to you all. Thanks, lads. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.